In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This sermon is about immune systems, leadership, gates, and life. During these past several weeks, I have pondered leadership a lot. I don't mean so much the leadership of others, though that too has crossed my mind. I mean rather my own leadership. And I've been considering the leadership that every one of us has been trying to exercise in this season of being homebound in a pandemic in the captivity of our own homes. Some of us are trying to manage families and households. Some of us are trying to manage businesses and institutions. Some of us are trying to manage roommates and housemates. Some of us are trying to manage ourselves. In all those situations, each of us is a leader of some sort. How can we effectively lead during this season of pandemic anxiety and social distance? It's astounding these days how much the world has slowed down. Much of the economy has simply stopped. Our time is rather like a huge silent retreat in a monastery maybe where the disciple simply stops for a while, stops engaging others, stops watching TV or the news. The disciple retreats. Okay, okay, I know. Some of us, some of us are in a huge noisy retreat. In either case, strong and deep truths emerge in such retreats. These are retreats not from the world, but retreats into oneself. The retreat into the soul, whether forced or unforced, changes people. I know that this present day retreat is a mostly forced, unintentional, involuntary retreat, and maybe a noisy one. Thus, especially, the discoveries during this retreat may not be recognizable without a guide, a mentor, just like a regular retreat. It's the role of a leader to be a guide, to be a mentor, to be a retreat priest during this retreat. It's the role of any leader during this time to be a good shepherd, to help people go in and go out of their interior journey. Jesus is the good shepherd for sure. But the intriguing passage we hear in today's gospel presents Jesus as the gate in particular, the gate is the guide, the one who allows the follower to go in safely and to go out safely. Jesus said in John 10, the one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. He goes ahead of them and the sheep follow because they know his voice. Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. Jesus provides a deep parable for leadership here in the Gospel of John, chapter 10. Yes, we usually think of Jesus as the Good Shepherd, one of Christianity's paramount examples of good and comforting and caring and firm and gentle leadership. And the Good Shepherd is a deservedly strong metaphor. 
But in this passage, Jesus says he is the gate. Jesus helps the disciple on retreat to go in and out to distinguish between our true self and our non-self. Let me explain. Have you also been thinking during these times about immunity and immune systems during this homebound pandemic? Well, I am thinking of how Ed Friedman once described leadership as a healthy immune system. Ed Friedman was a family systems therapist who spoke wisely about the ministry of non-anxious presence. He worked extraordinarily well with leaders of all sorts, from families in crisis to churches and synagogues in crisis. Being a non-anxious presence goes something like this. Do not avoid people in their illness or stress, and do not deny their crisis but be present with people in their stress without amplifying that anxiety. Friedman taught us that effective leaders reduce stress by living out their own ability to live non-anxiously, often in the very midst of an anxious situation. And yes, Ed Friedman once described leadership as a healthy immune system. It's here in one of his brilliant books, A Failure of Nerve. The letters are probably backwards in the camera. A Failure of Nerve by Ed Friedman. He makes some of his usual points here that leadership can be a kind of electrical current transformer like those we see along our electric grid. A transformer either steps up or steps down the electric current, often stepping it down so that the electricity does not explode our house. An effective leader does not step up the electric current and amplify the anxiety of the system. An effective leader reduces the anxiety of the system while still allowing current to go through. Yes, like a good shepherd does. But in particular, here in this book, A Failure of Nerve, Friedman says that good leadership is a healthy immune system. He develops this analogy from the study of modern immunology. Friedman notes that in the human body, the immune response is the capacity to distinguish self from non-self. And the immune system is considered to have a more fundamental role than protection. Namely, it provides an organism with integrity. So it is in our body politic, or in our family body, or in our church body, or in our own personal emotional body. A good leader is an immune system. Friedman says it is ultimately the nature of the leader's presence that is the source of their real strength. Their strength is not economic, or physical, or by virtue of their office. Leaders function as the immune systems of the institutions they lead, not because they ward off enemies, but because they supply the ingredients for the system's integrity. That's on page 231 of A Failure of Nerve by Ed Friedman. Leadership, your own leadership in these captive times, 
is to supply the ingredients for your system's integrity. A system's integrity depends upon knowing when to bring in and when to bring out. Like a gate, really. How to distinguish true self from non-self. This, this hypodermic needle does not make you immune. Well, it may contain ingredients one day that will make us immune to a physical virus. But what really strengthens us spiritually in this time is our sense of self, our self-differentiated, non-anxious presence, paying attention to what is strong and not giving over our resources to what is weak. Jesus is the gate, bringing sheep safely in to home and to comfort and security and safety, but also encouraging sheep out, out safely and securely into the world. A gate is the regulator, allowing things in and allowing things out. A gate is like the governor on an engine, measuring and regulating the speed of the engine. A gate is the transformer in an electric circuit, stepping down the current, regulating the anxiety. Jesus is the gate, a paramount model of the healthy immune system, keeping us alive by focusing on what is healthy in our organisms. Focus on the health. Jesus said, I came that you might have life and have it abundantly, in verse 10 of chapter 10. That is the leadership that each of us has the opportunity to exercise. No matter what system or institution we are managing these days, our families, our households, our businesses, our institutions, or our own internal emotional selves. And it's also the leadership that we, the Christian church, are called to exercise in the world during a time of crisis. Our ministry of non-anxious presence, self Regulating health is truly an essential business in our time. In times of crisis and stress, the church offers and models a deep, non-anxious presence and the positive energy of peace. You, we, the body of Christ, are to deliver spiritual peace and steady, healthy confidence to a stressful world. We do that in the spiritual power of Jesus Christ, our Lord, the gate. This is a spiritual power that does not, it does not deny reality and truth. We do not deny scientific facts and realities. In fact, we learn from them, but we also draw from an inner grace and love by which God created and still creates and sustains the world. Like Jesus, we are the body of Christ. We are here so that the world can have life and can have it abundantly. Amen.